All right, what up guys, Andre and Crosspower. It's Mark here, and today is Wednesday, February the 5th. And I'm um, shooting, shooting a video this time, I'm indoors. Um, the weather's a little bit cold today, and pretty gloomy outside, so um, we're gonna stay in here and shoot a video today. So let's check the scoreboard and see what the official tally is for today. So, infected cases, 24,363. So actually that's gone up, that's actually up 3,892 from yesterday. So that's a pretty pretty decent jump, that's more than like a 20% increase from yesterday. Good news is that the recovery rate has been so far, 892 people have been recovered. So that's good news. And that's up 200 from yesterday. And then total, guys that didn't make it is 491 and um, according to this it's Shanghai Shanghai has 233 cases and only one 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 case didn't make it so actually it's still is it, Shanghai is still relatively low but I'm definitely getting more concerned now that the numbers are going up it doesn't seem like they're stabilizing there they're starting to jump up but this is kind of to be expected because actually what they said last time <clears throat> what people were saying is that it does have an incubation period of like uh, some somewhere between three to five days some guys were saying up to a week or two weeks even so that means some guys that already had it before maybe they didn't know they're having it so now the effects are sort of like rolling in so looks of things it's going to be continually rising up for the next few days so let's see how that pans out okay so we have more bad news for you today um, schools were supposed to go back on the 17th of february and um the government just put out a notice today so here's an official translation of the, the government notice at the last news conference the city government made clear that all kinds of schools at all levels of the city were not open until february 17th now according to the situation of the disease to ensure the safety of students it is decided that all kinds of schools in the city will not open until the end of february and will closely follow the development of the disease and make a timely decision as soon as the opening time is determined it will be released to the society in advance to allow the teachers and students to make reasonable arrangements for time so basically what that means is nothing is going on till at least this is the end of the end of February, which is basically the start of March. Um, this is this is actually quite a concern, actually, because um, there's a lot of things to factor in on this one. Is because um, first of all, everybody was already expecting that the holiday has been a little bit delayed, and then now it's been more delayed. Official work is supposed to start on next week on the 10th. They haven't made an announcement yet, but I expect that they're going to make say something in the next couple of days about that. But if the school situation has already been extended till next month, then most likely um, work will be halted as well. Obviously, there's a that's a, a decision made by the made by the guys upstairs, the, the, the big boys. Um, obviously, the government they don't want this thing to continue as long as. Now, nobody wants the thing to drag on. Everybody would want the thing over and done with as quickly as possible. And obviously, that's sort of like a big decision to make whether whether you will stop it and then say, oh, we're going to keep it going or put the holidays back on. Like they said before, it was actually the most contagious time is now is because everybody left China or left, left the cities and they went back home on a holiday so they're traveling so if once the people are coming back this is when the time of the spread will be at its greatest and you can see that the, the numbers are rising so therefore um, it's probably a smart move that if they have some doubt about it that means they're definitely still concerned so they're just going to extend it on but what does that mean in the big picture it means that this thing is definitely greater and then what people have thought about before, even what I thought about, I didn't make any comments about it before because I always said, like, I always have a mindset of like, the, let's look at the evidence and let's see what's happening before you can jump to some conclusion. So it's definitely getting serious now, more serious than before. The spread is actually getting faster. And 
what people are not only just concerned with the health issues now, now people are paying attention to the economic impact. What is it going to do to businesses, to the any outdoor activities, events, um, expo, expo, exhibitions? What I've heard is that the, that already a lot of the major expos that were planned for spring have already been cancelled. Some of the ones all leading for the first and second quarter have already been cancelled. So that is that is a big hit to the industry, along with um, tourism, hospitality. Um, initial numbers I've already heard there's like uh, numbers have already been down to like 75 percent. Like hotel, hotel and and travel attendance is down 75 percent. That's a, a huge hit. A lot of hotels are even. Um, closing their buffet sections down, closing down um, restaurants are already still remain closed so so the situation is definitely not improving um, they're squeezing it down the true extent we're yet to find out uh, as you know like I would say that if the kids are on holidays there's what are they gonna what are they gonna do are they supposed to stay at home and if the parents are supposed to go back to work next week and suddenly who's looking after the kids and on, by what they're saying here that the kids are going to um, doing some online or learning program so what does that happen to the semester if the semester starts later does the semester go through the through summer no one really knows yet so like this is just this has just asked more questions now so there's more questions being asked so no doubt that if the schools are going to be extended a lot of the a lot of international schools a lot of the, the people already left china so um they don't know maybe the whole semester is just a, a wash this time who knows so these are the th certain things that we're just going to watch out for like i said before we cannot really jump to conclusions about this thing um it's definitely on the rise and judging by the look of it now it's definitely serious getting more serious um, in china the first and second quarter is going to take a pretty big hit, that's for sure.